Colin, where do you live? I live in a data center. What's a data center? A data center is a big building full of lots and lots of computers called servers. Okay, so who else lives there? Pretty much the whole internet does. Fortnite, YouTube, Google, Facebook, Xbox Live, Sims and Roblox all live in data centers around the world. Oh wow, so what else is in a data center? Well, the servers, or computers all get stacked up in cabinets called racks, and they all line up in rows. Some data centers have thousands of servers and can be bigger than football pitches, which is very very big indeed. So how does a data center work? So data centers need two very important things, electricity, and a way to keep everything cool. Data centers will have massive engines called generators, which can keep the whole data center running in the event of a power cut. It takes a little time for the engines to start up, so if there is a power cut, they have huge batteries which can keep everything going in between. Some of these battery packs are as big as your house. Very very big, wouldn't you agree? Okay, you said they need a way to keep everything cool. Why's that? Well, you know when you use your laptop, tablet or phone, and after a while it gets warm? If you can imagine 1 million of those, that's what happens in a data center. All of the computers make so much heat, the building has to keep it cool or the equipment would break. Depending on where in the world the data center is, the way it is cooled can differ, but most are like a type of air conditioning the same as in a car. Hot air is cooled down by water, and that makes the air cold again. Some data centers do some really cool stuff with their hot air, like use it to heat houses or even swimming pools. Very very cool stuff in my opinion. Okay, so now I know how the data center works. How do you get to my house? Well that's the internet. The whole world is connected by cables that run under the sea and under the ground. These cables carry data so fast it's crazy. A message can travel from London to New York in 71 milliseconds. That is 7 round trips to New York every second. It's incredible stuff. Once the data reaches your house or classroom, it's normally then sent by wireless or Wi-Fi to your device. So everything happens all on its own automatically? Kind of, but only if the data center has been designed and built well, and looked after properly, of course. The people who do this are engineers and technicians. They fix things when they break and they check on everything regularly to test everything is working okay. So these people, are they the superheroes of the internet? Along with me, yes, exactly. Thanks Colin, you're the best. Bye! Well, I'm certainly in the top three. Goodbye human.